Hello viewers, welcome to the channel, welcome to another Minecraft video. In today's tutorial, or tutorials, we're going to be building the M4A2 late production Sherman, I believe, and then the later development with the 3-inch gun turret, known as the 76 M4A2 76W, which was a development of the late production M4A2 hull. So we're going to do just that, we're going to build the uh, 75 version and then the later uh, three inch gun version. So first for, our ground, first for our ground layer, I already have it set up here. So we're just going to place down two rows of six black blocks spaced two blocks apart. So we can begin by taking nether brick stairs, some grindstones, prismian slab, dark oak fence gate, and crossbow. I think that would be exactly all we need. So First, we're going to take some placer blocks, and in front of it, we're going to place down an upside down net brick stair. Just like so. And I'm going to take these grindstones all the way back, so we should have six of them, all facing the same direction. Next, we're going to take our invisible item frames. And place inside of them some crossbows that are positioned like so. And we're going to do this on both sides. Once we have all the crossbows in place, we're then going to take our nether brick stairs. Place two like so, something we don't um, do very often. And then next we're going to place some dark oak, fen dark oak fences behind that, as much as I despise using them in that open position, but that's sort of the um, shape we want there. And lastly, we can bridge the gap with some dark prismarine slabs, so pretty standard stuff here. With that complete, we can move on to the next layer. So for this, we're just going to take our green terracotta for now, and build up each uh, green terracotta block on each of the slabs we placed from the last layer. Once we have all that placed in, we can start taking our blocks. So for the front, we're going to need dark prismate stairs and two levers. And I'm going to be doing the add-on track stuff um, when we finish it up. So place two levers right at the bottom. And going on towards the back, we're going to take, I'm going to need those later, but take our mossy sculpt walls, place down two like so. For the sides, we're then going to take our spruce stairs, dark oak stairs, we're going to keep our green terracotta block, we're going to take some spruce signs, and a spruce slab for now. So, starting at the back, we're going to take our spruce stairs and place down one on each side of the walls. Facing towards the side. And then we're going to take our spruce up slab. Place down a sign, a spruce sign right off of it. Now we're going to take our dark oak stairs I'm going to have it um, facing towards the front, like so. And this is of course going to be upside down. We're then going to take our invisible item frame and place down a green terracotta block in there. Now. 
this we're going to repeat this with the sign with the slabs um, not doing the signs so two slabs two upside down forward facing dark oak two slabs two forward facing dark oak stairs and then lastly two slabs again and for these we're going to place down the spur signs and this is the m4a2 which had the I believe it's some sand skirts or something like that but i like them they're better than the alternative which we're going to get to in another tutorial so we're going to finish the sides off placing an invisible end frame on each of the dark stairs with a green terracotta block placed inside and lastly, we're going to take two lecterns, place them on each of the first upside down nether brick stairs, place down a sign in the front and side. Once we have that done, that will finish up the second layer. We can move on to layer two, which will be the final layer of the hull. So for this, we're going to need dark prismian stairs, and for a majority of it, green terracotta. So, pretty simple stuff here. We're just going to place down row one, two, three, and four prismian slabs, then the two rows of four green terracotta blocks. Now in the middle two, we're going to build out two more rows. So we should have something that looks like this for now. And we're actually going to start building the turret first, as we don't want to mess with these debug pistons if we put them in first and then put something down on top of them. So, we're also going to build up another row of two blocks like that. And for the turret, we're going to need dark prismian stairs, green stained glass pane, monster composite wall. I should do it for now. So first we're going to have these stairs placed really in any direction we want. We're going to debug them later. Place down must couple stone wall on the first row of two that we placed. And then a sign on either side or on both sides. So once you have that done, we're going to put in our barrel. And for this, initially, we're going to need some barriers and signs. Now, if you have a debug stick, which at this point you need for the build, if you haven't noticed, but the reason I bring that up is so we can do the double layer signs. Normally, you would do this with hold edit, one, two, and done. And then we can just play signs right out the back. Now, if you have a debug stick, I believe you can do this without um, world edit. I should want to try it right now. Okay, you can. So you can do it either way. World edit is of course easier, but if you don't have access to that and you have a debug stick, which you need for my 1.5 to 1 builds, you can do what I just did. So uh, moving on, we can uh, debug the uh, other turret blocks here. So most importantly starting with these stairs, we're going to have them shape in our right and it's going to be an inner left. We're then going to have these signs. We want them facing towards towards the stairs. So this side is true, this side going to be west. And there we go. So for these walls, a little quality control here. We're going to have north and south. Oops. Set to tall. Just like so. And at the back, we're going to take a tripwire hook and a dark hook sign. So on the left side, we're going to place down a tripwire hook and on the right side, a dark hook sign. Now for the um, roof, 
we're going to take our dark oak trapdoor, place it on the right hand side, we're then going to take a dark oak button, place it right behind, and then we're going to take a redstone comparator, and I always forget which way these face, but we want them two protrusions, whatever, uh, facing forwards. Then we're going to take for the uh, 50 cal machine gun, which is mounted lower, as opposed to the one that's essentially mounted on a higher stand. These guys were mounted more so off to one side and much, much lower. So we're going to do the machine gun, we're going to need the course placed on that gate, then an end rod in front of it. So for the most part, it's all done, but we're also going to need some dragon heads. We're going to use our invisible item frames. So I quite like this machine gun design. Place down a dragon head right here, and I believe this will be upside down, and this is going to be for the MO tin. And we can also in wall to true so it sets itself down so we have the ammo tin right there and then also we're going to have the uh, stock basically right at the back which is just going to be another dragon head like so and that's our lower mounted machine gun design we're then going to take a white stained glass pane for this light right here simple. And lastly, a little bit of uh, attention to detail here for some, I believe one side is an optic, one side is a uh, 30 cal. don't remember which one's which, but we want to do that. And for the other side, it be a bit different. Okay, it's going to be horizontal like that. I think, or I think we're actually going to have to flip it upwards. Yeah, that's better. So, we want those two placed in there. And we're also going to take our dark prismine slabs, do something similar in the blocks right in front. So we're going to take our two visible line frames with some dark prismine slabs. And then two dark oak buttons faced in the front and I believe this will undebug the thingy or it doesn't okay cool so with our turret in of course reason we want to do that beforehand is because of these pistons so we're going to take force some pistons a lectern dark oak signs and prismine slabs so first we're going to take our lectern and place it right behind the second green terracotta block. We're going to get a nice angle going on here for the sides. I was quite pleased with most of it, at least. We're then going to place the piston right there. And then two dark prismarine uh, slabs. We're then going to take our dark oak signs. Place one on each of the pistons and lecterns. Next, we're going to take our invisible item frames, or rather, full item frames. And you don't necessarily need to really put anything inside, but uh, for these, we can just put a white wall for a little star or something. We can also put a bed down, a white bed, as we'll do later for like some sort of inscription but to keep them sort of different, I decided to put down a little white block there for the star. So we're then going to take our debug stick, have these pistons extended to true, so we get a nice slope like that, and then we'll finish it off at the back with a flower pot right there and there. So um, this works for particular reasons and not so much others, the flower pots at least. We're going to place down two heads right here. So the back of the curve is uh, sits lower than 
the engine deck that's more so mounted in the middle, and it's of course lower than the proceeding slope right there, but it doesn't really take up all that much volume. I would like it to, but really can't have... It's, it's not perfect, but it does mostly what I want, which is to be the so correct height. So then we're going to place down a chest, a double chest rather, right behind the two blocks placed from the last last layer. And then in front of those two pistons. And we're going to have these extended to a true. We're then going to take for some of the detail at the back, invisible end frame, and a tripwire hook right off this last slab. Next we're going to take our barriers and place down one or not. Place down one behind each of the flower pots. Yes you can place one off the flower pot. Forgot about that. We're then going to take our red stained glass, invisible item frames right off of the barriers, which are a vanilla blocking you with a command. And then in the sun frames, some red stained glass. So that will finish up the engine deck, and we can move on to a little bit more of the side detail, which also the front as well. But so the side first, we're going to place down a dark oak trapdoor right to the side of the second green terracotta block. We're then going to take white stained glass and some green terracotta, so we're going to take some invisible end frames, place down, looking at the front, on the right side, one, and then these two blocks, one each, and then we're going to place down, and did that run anything? Okay. We're then going to place down wood stained glass pane on each of the outside ones, and on this one here, with a machine gun port, and a green terracotta block. So I believe that will actually finish up our M4A2, but if you want to uh, go the extra mile for the add-on stuff, we're going to take our another brick slab, replace this one. Our or materials anyway, as you might imagine, and replace this stair here with the nether, uh, with that nether. Get it, that's fine. Then we can place down an, a lever right at the bottom. And I believe that will basically be all the block changes, but for the item frames, the various item frames, we're going to place down one on the first um, slab here in the back, place down a rail, or an activator rail rather, and have it flipped horizontal. We're going to do the same thing on the walls of the turret. Like so. Same thing on this block right here. And right in the front. Place down one on this nether brick slab right there, one on each of those stairs, and then one on top of those same stairs. So for these guys, these are going to be facing vertical, and the ones on top of the stair are going to be horizontal. And the one on the stair right here is also going to be horizontal as well. So that will basically be our um, add-on track armored M4A2 late production hull. So if you came this far just for this one little tank, I hope you enjoyed the build and tutorial. I was quite happy with the M4A2 design. It worked out quite well. And I'll see you in the next video. But if you want the 3 inch gun version as well, stick around momentarily.
One, two, three, go. All right, for the 76W three inch gun turret, as you see here, I removed the turret from our M4A2 75 late production, as well as took off all the track stuff. So for this turret, we're going to need, or we're going to start with some lecterns, green stained glass pane, wall, block and a stair. So on the second block right here, we're going to place down two lecterns. Whoops. And we're going to do something or going to do the identical uh, barrel, but just a little bit longer. And in this case it'll be two blocks longer. So let's get this started with a protrusion of two. So we can take our signs. No, that doesn't work. Okay. Let's see how fast I can. Oh, okay, nope, I couldn't do it fast enough. So we're just going to take the signs all the way down. Again, that should overhang by two blocks. And then we're going to do a double uh, layer of these. Did not know it was case sensitive. And for the iconic muzzle break, we're going to use a Another right chest plate. Of course, we're going to put a barrier down on one side. It doesn't really particularly matter which side. Place the chest plate there and have it facing like so. So with that in place, we can uh, replace our. Listen, this is going to be the driver optic or periscope, rather. We're then going to take our, our normal item frames, place down one in front of the lecterns with a green stained glass pane right in front. We're then going to take our uh, green terracotta blocks and much like the previous turret, we're going to build a two by two block and then two upside down Dark Bruce main stairs. So also pretty similar. We place down a wall on the first box. And important note here, normalize these pistons so we can place the paint on top. And much like the previous turret, but this one had the general same roundness in the front, but it sort of extended a little bit in the back. So we're going to take our north true so we have that curve around a little bit more. Now we can uh, extend through these pistons. We can then also take our normal item frames and place one off of the green stained glass panes. Whoops. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Thought those were visible for a second. So we can move these so they are facing inwards, and this can be an east and a west. And of course, I do it wrong every time. 
but this side should be west, this side should, this side should be east. And we can quality these walls right here. So south tall, and we also want north tall as well. We're also going to put um, inwards, so north and south again, I mean um, east and west. Tall, tall. If I forgot to do that in the last turret, I apologize there. But moving on, we're going to take our invisible end frames, place down one on each side of the opposite on stairs. From the last layer, we're going to take our two bar hooks and have them facing outwards like so. So now we can move on to the roof, and for this we're going to need a dark oak chop door, daylight detector, redstone comparator, and brown carpets. So we're going to take our carpets, put them on top of each of the lecterns right there, or the blast bag. And we're going to take our doggo trapdoors on the right side, we're going to place down two. And on the left side, we're going to take our comparator. You can always do this backwards, but one facing this way. With a daylight sensor. And I believe we're also going to need that same light in the front, but also a patch hinge or handle on the side of the daily sensor. So let's take our item frame right there, much like the last turret. And for simplicity, if you want to sort of uh, duplicate this design but put it on like a fence pedestal on one side, you can do that, but as I overcomplicate pretty much everything, I devised sort of a machine gun-ish 50 cal that can stand in the center. So if you want to do this. Okay, a situation report. I kind of ruined a lot of this, but what's important is I have no idea how I um, did that. So instead, I'm going to take Kind of what I said earlier, and just duplicate this design off to the side. Ignore everything else that just happened. So just finish off this machine gun, and I can call it um, a day, I guess. Well, our somewhat messed up M42 with our normal um, for too late production. Let's just pretend this never happened. And focus on the uh, complete version. So, you should have these two tanks. So, and I believe I did forget to mention like debug the walls in the back so they're sort of fully facing the uh, stairs right next to them. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you in the next video.